So in today's video, I do want to talk about the possible new antagonist for the next Jurassic film. Historically within the franchise, they have had the Velociraptor pack, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Giganotosaurus, the Indominus Rex, and so on. These have all been antagonistic dinosaurs, and they've been the main focus of these films. But moving forward, there really is not one dinosaur that stands out. Of course, preferably, you would want to see the Spinosaurus return. And within this new film, this of course would be the main antagonistic dinosaur. But essentially what I'm saying is this. There is not really a standout dinosaur that has not shown up yet. There's the Carcardontosaurus, but that dinosaur is very similar to the Giganotosaurus. At least prior to Jurassic World Dominion, we still hadn't seen the Giganotosaurus yet. And even with this dinosaur being in the film, there sort of was a shift. When you look back to Jurassic World and Fallen Kingdom, they were focused heavily on the antagonistic dinosaur. The entire storyline was built around them, but then in Jurassic World Dominion, it seemed like that role was being shared. Not just with the Atrociraptor pack and the Giganotosaurus, but also Biosyn. And that right there may be a hint. Instead of the next film focusing on a brand new dinosaur, they might just be focusing on these different companies. They would pretty much be the main antagonist, and that would also be backed up by the dinosaurs they clone very much like Biosyn in Jurassic World Dominion. Their entire plan with the Locust was the main focus. Although you can say the Giganotosaurus was the main antagonistic dinosaur, I really would not say it's the main antagonist of the film. Instead, in my opinion, it was Biosyn and Lewis Dotson. They had more of that antagonistic role, and like I said, I can see the same thing taking place once again after Jurassic World Dominion as well. That's partially due to the lack of dinosaurs that would fit that role of the Spinosaurus, T-Rex, and Giganotosaurus, but also because of Mainland. When they are in mainland, they don't rely on dinosaurs as much as they did before. When they were on the islands, the dinosaurs were the main focus, and that's just the way it is with these settings. There's a lot more they can incorporate, so that's exactly what they will do. They can bring in different companies, and within them they can have different storylines. Either way though, in my opinion moving forward, that antagonistic role will be changed. It will be along the same lines as Jurassic World Dominion, and instead of it focusing on a dinosaur solely, you will now split that focus with a different company, different characters, and things along those lines. For all of you though, what do you think about this? Moving forward, should they bring in a brand new antagonistic dinosaur? And if so, which one should that be? Write all of your answers down below, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.